Hello and welcome to Unraveled Gaming. Today we have Architects of the West Kingdom, but I have Tomb Saga. I uh, got that in the mail a couple of days ago. Um, so there are a ton of components with Tomb Saga that you can add to the game. Um, you can make it a you can do Tomb Saga, which is playing through Architects, Paladins, and Viscounts. And you can uh, basically play three successive games with however many players, and you're each pursuing a certain number of tombs. After you've completed the third game, whoever has the most tombs wins. Tomes, rather. Um, not tombs. Uh, T-O-M-E, not T-O-M-B. Um, but what I have here is architects now i have the artesians expansion so we have the um uh you you have the uh the things that you can upgrade a worker with and the uh i forget what you call them the adornments they're both adornments and they are uh things that make your um apprentices better uh so you can upgrade on either side by going to over here, uh, you can place a worker on top of another worker to gain one of the apprentice upgrades. You can go here and pay, put another worker on top of a worker over here and pay two to the tax and three regular coins to get an adornment. The adornments tend to be worth victory points at the end of the game and make things, uh, sometimes they give you immediate things. Uh, a, large, a lot of times they give you uh, a certain number of victory points at the end of the game. The upgrades for the apprentices, they can give victory points, but it's it's uh, it's done differently. But this is not about artisans. What I really want to talk about is the Tomb Saga piece where you play against the evil overlord. So this is like a, uh, almost like a bot uh, that you can play against with another player. I have it set up um, as if it's a two-player game. I'll be doing this one myself, but I wanted to check it out. Um, so as far as the, uh, and I'm, I'm missing the piece that I have. It's supposed to go a piece that goes in here, and I don't see it. Uh, it wasn't on my punch-out boards, so I may have to email them and ask for that bottom piece there. Uh, at least I did not see it. Um, but with the Tomb Saga, some things that I got with the Kickstarter were these metal coins, and they are, I'm going to try to get this in the screen, decently good. They're fantastic. These are great metal coins. You can use these with any of the games, Paladins, Architects, or Viscounts, but they are pretty cool. Um, I already had these upgrades from Top Shelf Gamer. Uh, I think I did the, another video on those earlier. Um, so the changes to the game are, at the King's Storehouse, you, you, you put this overlay on here, uh, normally it looks like that, uh, but you put the storehouse there, and it gives you a uh, a different kind of action, which is called a donation, um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. We also have an overlay over here, uh, which allows you to, when if you capture the overlord's workers and send them to uh, the prison, then uh, these are the overlord workers. They're like normal kind of basic meeples with no color. Um, the overlord, you'll get two coins per overlord worker that you send here. You don't send your colleagues' workers to the prison this time. You can only capture your own and the overlords, um, depending on how many captures you have. So that's a difference to the game. Um, we have that overlay as a difference. Uh, you Each player starts with, uh, you shuffle up these... Uh, clergyman and you either start with a clergyman or a scoundrel and the only difference they do the same thing but the difference is the symbol at the top uh, for when you're buying buildings so I, I started with a clergyman for both characters on this one um, just because I have uh, Ada and Frederick which are generally kind of uh, righteous characters or they're 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 more virtuous so I went with the clergyman on them um, and they give you a donation per uh, build you do on the cathedral. So every time I build a cathedral, I will also get to make a donation. 
So that's another big thing is donations. What are donations? Well, whenever you take this action, the donation action, um, you can uh, donate to the overlords, uh, like, I guess his, his scheme. He's got four of them here. And at various points in the game, they can be turned over. And if you don't turn them over, they're worth five points at the end of the game for each uh, for each player, I believe. Um, so you uh, and your goal is to beat the overlord. I guess it's I have to I'll have to look up the rules on what we're trying to do to beat the overlord, uh, and I'll get to that uh, after this one. But uh, Basically, for this game, we have a two-player game, and so we're trying to donate six coins to the Overlord's uh, storehouse here. If we do, we will get one victory point. If we do not, we will lose five victory points at the end of the game. And I have to look up and see if that's collective victory points or not. Uh, I, I cannot remember. Um, so, that is the setup. Um... The only difference other than those things for setup was that when we got cards, we just drew four and discarded one. We didn't actually do a draft. Uh, oh, and uh, the other thing you can do for donation is you can donate to the overlords thing, but you can also donate to each other. You could say, hey, you need some resource that you need, then I can donate my resource to you uh, if it makes it easier for you to do a thing. And so that is... Uh, something to bear in mind. So for instance, why might I want to do that? Well, if Ada gets a donation and she wants to donate the gold to Frederick, she could use a donation action to donate a, a gold. Now, why would she want to do that? Well, Frederick doesn't have to lose a card to upgrade the cathedral, and he gets a donation action if he upgrades the cathedral. So Frederick could then upgrade the cathedral, not lose a card, pay the gold, and then he would get a donation action, in which case he could then donate maybe some coins because Ada doesn't have any coins, or a stone to Ada if she was going to try to pursue something else because he can get stone a little easier. Um, Ada has the ability to get marble if she has no one in prison and she's wanting to avoid putting people in prison so that she can get more marble. So there's different options there. But those, that's the general, everything else is basically the same as far as setup goes for uh, the age, uh, I'm sorry, the Architects of the West Kingdom using the, uh, the co-op version. So I will get to the video in a bit, but uh, that for, for now is the immediate setup.